I think it is time for a Huawei Watch Fit review. So let's get started. The watch comes with an interesting, somehow unique design. With a 1.6 inch stretch OLED screen lives in a plastic housing that feels very lightweight. This makes it pretty good for sports, but also for everyday usage, as you don't really feel the watch. On the other side, it takes away a bit of the premium feeling that the Honor Watch Magic or the Huawei Watch GT have. Taking a look around the device, we can see there's one main button on the right side. This one is used to turn on the device, go to the watch screen or start menu depending on the menu you are on currently. The rest of the system is controlled via the touch screen. Thanks to the big screen, swipes and taps work pretty good and the information visible on the screen without scrolling is way more than on the rounder smartwatches by Huawei. But is it a true smartwatch? Not really. It is more like a smart band or fitness tracker with some smartwatch features. So the main features are training functions. You have nice 3D animated training sessions that guide you through your training. There are programs for short training sessions and office breaks and it also automatically recommends you one of those settings when the watch notices you are sitting too long. Pretty handy and good are also the vibrations at the beginning and the end of the session that allow you to know what's going on without looking at the watch all the time. Though I'm not a fan of a vibration motor, it's a weak one. Granted, they made it a lot easier to distinguish via the different vibrations if you got a new message, an alarm rings or something else happens. Though where the Honor Watch Magic had a powerful vibration motor that was capable to wake me up in the morning as an alarm clock without an alarm, just vibration, I think this one is a bit too weak for this. The limited smartwatch features allow you to get notifications and read them, though there are no answering options. Uh, music playback is not possible as there is no speaker, but you are at least able to control a music player on your phone from the watch. Also very useful is the possibility to use the watch as a remote shutter for not only photos but also starting a video. Stress measurement as well as heart rate and oxygen levels in your blood are possible. The heart rate seems a bit off when you do some spots though. Oxygen levels and stress measurements are pretty accurate though. Sleep tracking is as good as ever with Huawei smartwatches. You get detailed information about your sleep cycle with REM sleep, light and deep sleep separation and tips on how to improve your sleep. If you want to relax a bit and train your breathing, there's also a breathing training as well. Otherwise you get the ordinary step counter that tries to detect also used up calories and there's a counter on how much you moved or were sitting. That is pretty much everything that you get there. There might be a microphone on the right side but there is no app that uses it as far as I know. You get the usual selection of watch faces and some of them are configurable like I demonstrated in my unboxing and first impressions video. Battery life is good. It's not as long as my old Honor Watch Magic, but you can really reach 10 or more days like advertised. It all depends on how much you use the GPS though and how often you turn off on the display. If you have the always on display turned on, it will of course run out of power pretty quickly though and you have, the re have to recharge it after a few days. In general though, the battery life is way better than normal smartwatches, but a bit weaker would you get on the Huawei Watch GT series. All in all, the Huawei Watch Fit is a good fitness tracker with some smartwatch functionality and this has a nice big screen and it feels very comfortable to use every day.